Hello everyone, welcome to VBA Advanced. In this video, I am going to talk about how to add a customized menu in Excel and also I am going to talk about add-ins add and sometimes they are also called plugins but in Excel they are called add-ins. So let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So these are the commands you need to learn. Learn by heart. So nothing uh, to be afraid of what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk through, uh, walk you through this, uh, these commands so that you can understand. So first we have sub v menu creator. V menu creator is our macro name as you understand. Then we have three declarations uh, using the dim, dim for dimensions. The first is the new menu. This is a variable as command bar pop up. So command bar pop up is the function that creates a that creates a new menu. Then we have a dimension that is v sub menu as an object. So some menus are declared as objects, and then we have the menu item. So when menu item is the actual icon or the or the menu text that will appear in our menu, and that is declared as command bar button. So these three are the reservoirs. We have to use this, use these. But before going to that, all you need to do is go to tools and references, and you need to turn on Microsoft Forms 2.0 Object Library. If you have a different version than 2.0, still it's fine. That, that will work. So let's go to our code. So first, I need to. What I need to do? I need to add a menu. So set v new menu, v new menu as application dot command bars one so this is uh, command bar one then we have controls dot add this is this this is this nothing doing you don't need to understand is all you need to understand is that this variable this variable and this text this is customizable and you need to have uh, customized this right now you can see i don't have any add in menu so if i run this so you can see that I have an add-in menu with nothing, uh, no text is being displayed. But if I go back and run this caption, you can see new menu is added in Excel. Right? So let me make certain changes to the windows so that you can. Yeah, this is better, I hope. Or oh, we can move it here. Yeah. So these commands created this a new menu, which is in add-ins as new menu, right? So this is the new menu. Let's add a submenu. So this command will add a submenu, v submenu, v new menu. And the caption. Caption is what actually appears on this menu that you can customize. And uh, don't try to understand these commands. Just, just use it if you want to have a new menu. So if I execute this, I have uh, this new menu, but nothing is being displayed because I have not uh, set the properties for the caption. So as soon as I set this property for the caption, now if I go to new menu, I have this my commands one. And let's go back and let's add a new menu item. So new menu item is the real thing. That is the uh, uh, executable part of uh, of this menu item. So if I add a menu item, you can see now we I have this uh, menu item after my commands. And uh, now I'm going to set three properties. The first one is dot on action. So dot on action is what? Is when you click on that uh, menu uh, item or the icon or the text, what will happen? So when I click on this, uh, another macro with the name of the hello world will get executed. And this is the hello world, which is which has a message box, the hello world. 
okay this will get executed so on action is the macro which want to you want to execute then there should be a caption there should be a text so the text is run pop up menu and if you go here you can see run pop up menu but there is no icon if you want to have an icon you should use face id dot face id and with dot face id we have this icon over here so let's add another menu item uh, dot uh, the same macro will run hello world and then uh, this time we will not have run pop up menu but button 2 and this face id is uh, 23 instead of 230 and this is end sub if i go to excel i have these two new menus uh, two, two new commands if i click on this this says hello world and if i click on button 2 it will again run the same macro but you should notice you can see this yeah you can see this uh, but you should notice that these two have different icons so we, from where we can have these icons let's go to google and let's type let me yeah. so let's type vba face id so if uh, if i go vba face id you can see these all icons can be used and you can have these id numbers you can use these ids in your macro so it is simple to get ids from the net so i will not go into further details how to choose an icon and let's go and see our macro once again so first declarations then uh, set, creating the command bar and then after creating that command bar we need to uh, give a property that is dot caption the text that should appear on that menu and then we, then we can we can have some menus and we can have menu items if you don't want to have some menus it's still fine instead of using some menu we can have uh, let's say what will happen if i use let me copy this and let's create a new macro i hope you can see this sub we test and we can have this just in case we need this I'm just copy pasting the commands. So let's see. Uh, we don't want to set a new menu, just we want to have the menu item. So in the instead of sub menu in the new menu, I I want to have this menu item. Let's say test icon and let's change it to 30 i don't know if this works or not so there is an error and which says it can't find the new menu because new menu is not properly defined so let's stop this here so let's try let's first delete this menu and create a new one to delete this menu all you need to do is simple use this command which is visible before you but let me zoom a bit yeah so this this is the command this will delete this menu we have created all you need to do is uh, use the menu name that was new menu so we, it has been deleted now so instead of creating menu our first menu item in the sub menu let's try to use if this works with new menu okay so let's run our macro now maybe there's an error i don't know Let's run this from here. 
So if I go to add in now in the new menu, okay, I have this sub menu and I have this icon. So you can have your uh, uh, commands and icons directly in the main menu or you can use them in the sub menu. Uh, and again, it's very simple to delete. Just give this command your menu name and it, that will be deleted. The next thing I am going to talk about is the add-in. What you know about add-ins? Add, not add-in, rather this should be add-ins. I -N. So, what, is, what are add-ins? Add-ins are patches or a set of software that will add additional function or capability to your original software. For example, we have add-ins in many programs like uh, in designing programs, CAD programs. We can have add-ins in video recording programs, audio recording programs, audio playback programs. So likewise, in Excel, we have add-ins. So these add-ins will add a new feature to Excel that is not built in by Microsoft. So let me open Excel to further explain this. So I can go away. So let's go to developer. So in the developer menu, you can see we have this add-in section. This one has add-ins and this will office add-ins. It will go to some Microsoft site. If you go to Microsoft Store, you can find add-ins uh, that are available to your account. And then you can have form add-ins. These are already installed in the system. So you can enable or disable these add-ins. Okay. So, but I, today I'm going to talk specifically about Excel add-ins. So if I click on Excel add-ins, these are the add-ins uh, available uh, in uh, Excel and these are built in Excel. So, so three types of add-ins are there. So today I'm going to talk about Excel add-ins and Excel add-ins are very simple to make. For example, this menu maker, the menus I have created, I want these menus to be part of Excel. How can I can I will do it? I will save my workbook as an add-in. So how this can be done? This is very simple. I go to save as and in save as you need to choose type and in the type you can see this. No, you can't see this. So let me push this window. Can I? Or if I can't, let me zoom out. Now you can see that there is Excel add-in that is dot .xlam. Till 2003 it was XLA and now it is XLAM. We are currently in folder VBA Advanced. As soon as I select dot .xlam, Microsoft or Excel will automatically go to the folder add-ins so you can see i already have two these earlier saved add-ins i can delete them okay okay so i can save my file which is xlsm as excel add-in xlam and let's give it a name menu maker 1111 and this is an x uh, now an add-in just save it let's close this file Let's close Excel first and reopen our Excel. So you can see there is no much change. Menu has not been added. But if I go to Visual Basic, you can see. Can you see why this is open now? Oh, all right. I already have few files. Let's close them first. Let me close this. Okay, now Excel is completely closed. Let's op open it again. 
let's go to developer in the visual basic you can see there is xlsm why this is still open oh i'm opening uh, sorry so if i close this and go to file and this should be a blank workbook if i go to visual basic you can see this is book one and nothing else now let's go to our excel add-ins menu in the developer tab and you can see here we can see menu maker 1 1 this is the file we saved as add-in if i select this and say okay nothing changes in excel but if i go to vba you can see i have this menu maker 11 dot xlsm as part of uh, microsoft projects this uh, workbook will not appear in uh, excel but this is this will appear in so if i go to switch windows you cannot you cannot see this here but if i go to developer you can see two files open here so if i have enabled it as add-in do i have the new menu no why not because the menu is linked to a link to a macro and that macro has to run and that macro is say menu creator this macro has to run one when at what event this macro should run this macro should run when this menu maker 11.xlam opens so when this one opens it should run this macro so let's close this and let's close book one and let's close our excel let's open our excel again and we don't have it again why not why not why not let's go to this workbook you see the command i copy pasted or created at the time of opening has not been saved why it is simple sorry this now let me close this file and open a blank workbook so let's go to developer and the visual basic i have this menu creator but if i go to menu maker 11.xlsam in the workbook i don't have it this is because it was not saved so if you make any changes to your um, add-in add-in file you can't save it from excel you have to save it from vba module so if i save it from here then close it and if i close my excel and reopen a fresh excel and let's have a blank workbook now you can see we have an add-in and this add-in has the menus right so this is how you create an add-in and to think about it if you have your add-ins it ha it can has many functions or new functionality and that will become part of your excel so this is the concept of add-ins this will add con uh, this will add new functionality to excel and this is how simply you can create a new add-in but by just saving your workbook as an add-in and that is by saving using this save as command and choosing excel add-in asterisk dot xlam this will do the trick so i hope uh, i was able to clear this concept and you will be able to use this too